showtime. Hi, welcome to JC Nation. I'm Christian. And I'm Jackson. And today we're going to be making an electromagnet. What we're going to be using today for this electromagnet is a piece of iron, iron. which is a screw. We're going to be using our soldering iron, as well as um, some insulated copper wire and a D battery or a 1.5 volt battery. The battery. It's the battery. It's the battery. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the insulated copper wire and we're going to be wrapping it all the way around this screw right here and then attaching it to the battery and that will create an electromagnet. Alright, let's get started. I'm scared. We're going to electrocute somebody. When you have your um, wire, you got to make sure that both ends have a little bit of a wire exposed so that you can solder it onto whatever power source you're using, yes. which is our D battery, so that we can the battery, the battery, so we can solder it onto the end of the D battery. We've got our end here, and now we're gonna twist it so that we have a nice solid wire that we can solder on. Oh, that's nice and thick. Look at that. That's nice and, that's nice and thick. So that's let's good. let's zoom in on this here while we. Uh, while we wrap this wire around, leaving, leaving enough so that um, when we do get finished wrapping it around here and we do start soldering onto the battery, we have enough wire that can go from the end of the, um, from where we start wrapping to the battery, but not an excessive amount because the farther away it is, the less magnetic your, uh, bat your magnet is gonna be. You want to get that thing as tight as possible. You want to get it as tight as possible. Going in all the same direction. Yes. You don't want to just switch directions halfway because the no, way it works. Awesome. No, well it is sort of. And uh, okay. look at that, we have just enough Let's start wire to solder our ID battery on there. Here, take this big piece. And this this screw is just a screw that I found in my garage. For just for this that I got. And I got it from the hardware store. And it's now an electromagnet. Yeah. There it's not a very powerful one. It's not powerful. But it, this but is that's that. because we're using a D battery, so that's 1.5 volts. So it's not that much. It's not gonna do much, but people have made uh, electromagnetic that are massive, like... The kind that you find at, like, a uh, junkyard. Yeah, junkyard. Like Those are electromagnetics, and that's how you can shut them off. Shove them in a light socket, and we should do that. Let's totally do that. Let's stick it in a light socket. No, that's a bad idea. Well, that's an electromagnet. So, I know this video probably wasn't very informational, but it told you what, how an electromagnetic kind of works. The next video is going to be about current, and we're going to actually explain properly how this... how what we just did actually worked. How it, how it happened. Yeah. This has been JC Nation. I'm Christian. And I'm Jackson. And we'll see you next time.